come to you first as a ch the champion of All-Stars here, hoisting the trophy on behalf of Team Ice. How does it feel to get redemption over Team Fire from last year? I mean, it's great. Even, even Korea couldn't carry an A this time, so it feels, it feels really good, you know? <laughs> all right, yeah, Bjergsen, now all the... <laughs> Although the victory didn't fall in your hands this time around, I want to hear what your thoughts are on your experience at All-Stars this year. I think it was a lot of fun. I think it was good getting a mix of kind of getting to play these games that ended up being kind of try hard in the 5v5, but also playing like Heimerdinger and Katarina in these fun modes. So it was good having a mix, playing with new players and playing, you know, to win and just playing to have fun and entertain the crowd. Absolutely. Well, speak to me a little bit about that, x -Pake. When you come to these events, you guys have been training for so many years, drilling the champions that you consider to be competitively viable. But then you get here and rules are kind of thrown out the window. How do you, how do you adjust as a pro? Because these things have been kind of ingrained and drilled into you. I mean, you, just, you just have to not care in the end. Like, <laughs> of course, uh, you can play what you're comfortable with, but sometimes just get getting like we saw the Garen, Gallio, Hammerdinger, all these picks that make no sense are more fun because you don't know how to play them, the enemy doesn't know how you play them, and it just makes the game way more fun and chaotic. <laughs> now, speaking of which, Bjergsen, at an event like this where you are playing these champions that are unconventional, do you ever come across one that you kind of like maybe ticks in your brain, you're like, maybe this could work competitively if I only gave it a shot? When I saw the Garen mid, you know, I thought, <laughs> if someone blind picks a melee mid laner, something like Garen or Pantheon has been played in the past can work, so... I think most of them probably not, like the Heimerdinger and stuff like that, probably not, but uh, Peke almost destroyed LCK team with Yaren, so could be. Absolutely, and then X Peke, I've got to come back to you one more time. I've said it before, but here you are on this stage in front of the Spanish crowd, being voted in as an all-star, being able to be here. What does this mean to you now to be able to hoist the trophy as well? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all-star is not a... <laughs> A great competition <laughs> in terms of competitiveness, but still, it's really good. It has been really fun. Being in front of all the Spanish fans has been great, and I don't know, I, I love that. Wish I could repeat it uh, sometime soon. And Bjergsen, any closing words here at All Stars 2016? Just, uh, thank you guys so much for coming out, seeing us, all the fans watching at home. It's been a pleasure playing for all of you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, well, one more time, ladies and gentlemen, x Peke and Bjergsen, two of our 2016 All-Stars. Uh, we're going to continue to get set up for this special performance that will take place in a couple of minutes. But for now, back up to Shox and the rest of the desk. Thank you so much, Dash, and thank you for your wonderful